started in boxing, uh, I had a coach, uh, Danny McNeil, who just kind of tinkered around with the basics of boxing and stuff like that, just to kind of get me started and stuff like that. He had a real old school Mexican style, man, you know, stand toe to toe and see who can take the most before one takes a knee. <laughs> I would just have to say the overall competitiveness, you know, testing your, your abilities against another unarmed man really, really drew me to the sport, you know. Who's, who's the best man? You know, you get in a cage and it's just you and another man and it's 50-50, man. You, you can't get any more even than that. So that's what intrigued me. Big elbows. Big yeah. elbows. And that is a vicious, violent finish to that contest. Yes, it was. Just uh... The greatest thing that I found uh, from mixed martial arts would have to be the discipline. It, it, it really set things in perspective for me when I started training and stuff. And it, you know, you can't you can't take the sport light. You know what I mean? You really have to have a a disciplined mindset to get you where you want to go. One of my goals. Well, I, I guess I have a few different goals in this sport. You know, one is to up, you know obtain championship you know to wear that gold around the waist you know everybody wants that but you know also to get the respect of other fighters you know that that means a little bit more to me than the belt even you know to, to get that that nod you know when you walk by another talented fighter and stuff like that man you know that really would give me a sense of fulfillment you know to get that respect from other high level fighters. a little bit and you know get my son around me and stuff like that you know because after all the carnage and chaos and violence and stuff like that man you know I need a little bit more uh, innocence and pureness around me and stuff like that and that's what he uh, that's what he gives me man.